Hello everyone, uh, today is going to be a quick playthrough of Hunt for Herobrine, so we're going to dive right in. The rules are, no breaking blocks, no mods, only craft when told to craft or when given supplies, only place levers on lapis, as in lapis lucy, and have fun. Sorry if I'm rushing, I want to cover this as quick as possible because we've already done a let's play series for this. You can check it out on my channel. I'll be playing the parkour, the puzzles, and reading the story as quick as I can. This is a walkthrough, since Nick skipped a lot of the important parts. So, what was that noise? It sounded like it came from downstairs. So you head downstairs, I've got this cool mechanism that opens up the stairs. It'll also retract, as you've seen already, for sure. Before you leave, you should check your diamonds. Stand on blue blocks by the stairs and pull the lever. So you would head back here. You stand on these blue blocks. See, I'm standing on them. And you pull the lever. And it retracts the blocks, and now you're down here. They're gone. You must track down the thief at once. Head outside when you're ready to go. And here's your diamond stash. As you can see, it's empty. Here's the emergency to go kit. I would recommend only taking an axe, some armor, and some food if you're not on peaceful. But this is a peaceful map, so there's no reason to not be on peaceful. Alright, so let's head back up. And there's one block you can break in this game. You hold shift, by the way, on bladders to stay still. And it says yes, you may break this block, hold shift. So you hold shift to stay on the ladder and you can break this block with your fist, it's not that hard to break. Yep, yeah, just takes like a few seconds. Easy peasy. Uh, then it's yours to do whatever with. I'm just gonna put it back for the sake of eliminating any distractions. So you head outside, it should still be nighttime or early morning when you get out here because I timed it that way. And the thief left a convenient trail of torches? What? So let's, so there's a trail of torches here that you follow and hopefully it's not raining. We're just going to tur turn that off because it's annoying. Alright, while we follow this, I just want to tell you guys I had a revelation today. Didn't even plug in my microphone, yet it's recording my voice in just the same quality. And also it records the computer noise, which is shocking. Because I didn't know my speakers were that cool, but I guess I neglected them, and they really are. So, the boat is gone too. You'll have to craft one. Alright, simple enough, you get your hatchet. You go over here, you chop a tree, but we're not going to chop that one because it requires a bit of extra work. So I'm going to chop. The minimum you need is three, and also hidden throughout the game is cookies. And there's around 25 of them hidden total. I think 25 or 24 is the maximum number. I have not counted, but I will count in the sequel. And there's already at least 25, and the sequel is only halfway done. So, let's make a crafting table. Looks like we're going to have some nice peaceful music, too. Which is always nice. I like their music. I feel most Let's Plays neglect that as well. So you hop in the boat, and unlike Nyx, you place it a little ways away from the port. Most Minecrafters know that, Nyx doesn't know that. And you sail, with the peaceful music, and the torches. It's peaceful at the beginning, you don't know the trouble you're going to be getting into later, or in just a few moments in this case. Alright. Well, I covered all that Nyx covered in half of the video, so we're on schedule. I'm hoping to get this done in two videos, instead of five. Oh, so we're even more ahead of schedule than I thought. Originally, Nyx was only supposed to be four, and I can't get that out of my head. And that also included bloopers, which is why I made it into five instead of four. And the ending was kind of long. So you can break your boat as you please. I'm going to throw away all the excess materials because they're unrequired at this point. 
as well as the hatchet. Simplicity. And since I'm on a peaceful map, let's also throw the steak off the shore. We're only going to keep our little cookie here, which represents the score in most Minecraft things. Of course, normally it's different items. Could it be one of your diamond blocks? Well, indeed it is. Note. Here you can have your diamonds back, I'm so sorry. Well, I'm a failure. Earlier they offered you an iron pickaxe, and I forgot to take that. So if you don't have too many items, go back straight that way and get it. Sorry for that brief jump in the video. Somebody keeps yelling upstairs, even though I told them to stop yelling. It's very inconsiderate. But you mine down these diamond blocks. There's five of them. And then you fall through to uh, the real start of the actual map. You don't actually start here. You get what I mean. It says, Welcome. You have been randomly selected to participate in a series of tests. Any who refuse can see their fate below, so you might as well comply. When I say that, I'm referring to the lava way below there. Uh, some structures got in the way, but you can still get the general idea. It's orange for a reason. We're just going to get rid of these diamonds. I wouldn't recommend punching out the glass in the real game. Test 1, a simple maze. Well, I'm just going to give you the answer. You go left, then you go right, then you go left, uh, then you keep going forward, then you go right at the bookshelf, and you go left at the cacti. There's other ways to get here, but that is the simplest way. So now it says, any suicidal thoughts yet? Just punch out the glass. But if not, we would prefer if you proceeded to the next test on the left. And what I mean by punch out the glass is not literal. I just mean if you were to punch it out, you would fall into the lava and die. It's a joke. So test two's agility course A. Wow, we're making quick time. Phew. And you just, this is a parkour course, if you can already tell. I'm just going to do it. I may fall a few times. That's okay. Everyone falls. Even on their own maps. Nobody's perfect at parkour. Well, I'm sure there's some people out there that just beasted up on these things. But I am not your man. Alright, so this is one of the trickiest jumps of the game, is from here to that block, which I'm pointing at. And, actually, it's not as bad as I thought. There are worse, is what I'm trying to get at. Alright. And over here... Well, dang it. We were pretty much there. We're just going to creative backup. And, if you do fall, there's ladders to get back up to the beginning. This is your first checkpoint. It lets, it lets down this thing of water here that lets you climb back up. This is the halfway point of the puzzle. Alright. So a few easy jumps, since it is a checkpoint. And then a really difficult one right here. We're gonna get back. Just wanna make sure you guys know that it is all possible. Unless you're stupid, and you don't even jump, which, that would be me. Okay, I made it that time, and I jumped off, as you can tell. Maybe you can't, but trust me, I made it. Alright, yeah, that's one of the hard ones. There's a lot of hard jumps, like this one. Okay, I didn't even sprint. Arr. Now I see why Nyx didn't want to do this. Parkour is actually really fun. A lot of people enjoy it. I'm enjoying myself right now. And I've made this and play tested it millions of times. Not literally. Why do I explain that? Sorry if my commentary is a bit quick. I normally don't talk this fast. But I'm anxious to get as much information into as possible about the map. And also provide a complete playthrough of it. Hopefully without as many falls in the future. This is a cute little jump here. Uh, using Nick's favorite word. You can... You have to jump into this and fall and keep going forward. Like like so. It's, it's not actually that bad if you can figure it out. And that brings us to Puzzle 3. We hope that test didn't trouble you. There are more.
and they will be much more difficult, so feel free to break the glass if you don't think you can handle it. Now you can really see the lava right there. Alright, test three, the village mystery. I'm gonna fly through this one, not even visit the extra houses, because this is a walkthrough. And for you who have already seen the series, it's also just fun to see the expert of the map, the designer, play through it. We don't even need to go in there. So when entering this village, you would normally start at the mayor's house and work your way around figuring out the mystery. But to win, you get this diamond pickaxe. I'm going to give them my other. You don't have to do that. Then you go to Taylor's house, the town Taylor. Ha, ah, very funny. And you mine out this obsidian block. It doesn't take as long anymore with the new update. It used to take, like, five minutes. I don't even know how long to mine. But now it takes about ten seconds. And you go through here, and it says, Ha! Taylor brought me the key to the city. Fool. Now I'll take it to the cave. What cave might we be talking about? By the way, don't miss the town key when you're passing by here. We're gonna, we're gonna, I don't need this obsidian. So, the town key is not in that chest in the middle. Then you cross the clothesline here. Not too bad. And then between these houses are little mini clotheslines that you can just walk across. You don't even need to jump. They're only in certain areas though. I'm just walking straight to them is why I do it so fast. And you put the town key on the lapis block. That was two videos worth and one that was shorter than the last. Leave a like if you enjoyed this first part of my walkthrough and join me next time for part two.